Good evening, Good everybody, evening, and, welcome everybody and welcome back to Racing back Series, Racing Formula, One series Formula One League. It's Division Two, it's Division round, two, two round Season two, Five, Season Five, Belgium. Belgium. Your stream of the season, your stream of the season from Ragen again, from Ragen again, from Division One's last night stream. Last and night's stream. Tonight, and special tonight, guest commentator, special guest commentator is, is One Tribal. One Tribal. Hello, one Tribal. Hello, One Tribal. Hello. 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 Welcome to the commentary box. Welcome to the commentary box. For a nice nice treat. So yesterday's so race yesterday's results, race proved, results to be proved to be a very interesting, a very interesting well, race. Well, anyway, it race. Started anyway, it off wet started off wet and off wet last, last minute. It did it get did dry. Get dry. Um, um, it was it was and then a late safety car, car at the end of it uh, with RSF uh, and Daniel, with RSF and Daniel. Um, pretty much controlled pretty much the, wet weather conditions, the wet weather conditions um, um, but then had but to then fight a little bit harder to, to claim the victory the end of it. Victory, at the end of it did you watch last night's stream did you watch last night's stream, night's stream? I did but not much of it I just rebotched on YouTube ah uh, okay ah uh, okay that's fair Hello, all viewers out Hello, there as well. Good to see you joining for the session. For the session. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a f... Well, dear is echoing well, dear is a bit. Echoing okay, a bit. okay. No problem. No problem. problem. Turn that short. Turn, turn that short. Turn that short. Turn that short. See if that makes any... See if that makes any... Uh, what audio, uh, what is audio is echoing? Is it echoing? The... Is it the... Is it me or I don't know? I don't know. My sound is echoing. My sound is echoing. Double right. Okay. Right. Okay. Um... How about now? Yeah, How about now? now? I'll see if I can find it out. Hang on. I think Hang it on. might be actually. I think it might be actually. Yeah, it's feedback on your mic. I think. Hello. 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 Okay, just bear with okay, me one second. Just bear me one second. Settings, like settings, settings, like settings, like that. that. What is going on today? Today. Right. So, right, first, so power up, first crazy power up catfish. Was crazy catfish. Hoping now, the hope is now that it's sorted out there. Uh, there, there, um, there, there. Still learning this, still new learning this new streaming microphone. Fling, fling. You there, tribal? You there, tribal? Yeah, I'm here. There's, there's still a bit of a feedback. Luckily it's quite quiet. Luckily it's quite quiet on the track at the moment. On my screen Muddy Biscuit has got Muddy Biscuit has gone out on mediums for some reason. Yeah, I've just spotted yeah, I've just spotted that one. Well, that could be, but I need to start the lap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do, okay, Chris. We'll do, Chris. Yes, we have. We have crazy fish just starting the lap. Up through Radion. They've been clean through there. Yeah. Yeah.
How's this for audio? How's this for audio? Just yeah, I'm just now out, checking Chris. that one out, Chris. It's, it's, it's so because I'm doing the PC. Yeah, I think it's sort of this half, I think. One forty two two for crazy fish on meat on the softs. Yeah, um, yeah um, we were seeing times, we were seeing down, times in down in the 141s yesterday, yesterday in F1. On your screen is Mavis showing as mediums, so on my screen is. Yeah, he's showing on, yeah, he's showing on, mediums, showing on, on mediums on my screen. Uh, ooh, 140 yeah. dead for Pigeon Munch. That's very good. That's very good luck there for Mr. Pitcher. But then there's Muddy, 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 Muddy doing a 143 one, 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 one. On the mediums. For some reason. Last week, off the line, I think it's CW26. No. It was Evo. Now it's CW next. The bus stop chicane. Lovely and clean. Ooh, a bit wobbly at the back. We lost a lot of time there. It's going to be a 142 six. Right, uh, right, uh, right, how's, the, uh, how's the, uh, audio in my voice? Hopefully, guys, hopefully, guys, I've sorted that one out, I just have to do it. Nope, again. it's doing it again. That again. Right, again. Sorry. I said you are echoing. Uh, VR's got a lap, I think. Falcon's next across the line, I think. Oh no, he's just pitting. Next we have. I think Muddy's doing another lap, maybe. Muddy just got the medium, Muddy just got the mediums. Yes. He's doing another lap, nice and clean through there. Gonna do. Doesn't improve, we well, improves a bit, but not way much. I'm on the wrong person, I'm on the wrong person here. Yeah. <laughs> right, how's the right. audio, how's the audio sorted, itself sorted itself out there? I don't know. How's the audio, how's the audio sorted Hang on, it's gonna it's pick, gonna pick me up twice, I think, twice, I think obviously because I obviously I had back. stream coming back. Yeah, when you say that I'm on the wrong person in Echo, then... Delayed. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? It was there a little bit, but. Sorry? No, Sorry? Not as, it was there a little bit, but not as much as, you know, use full volume, the echo was. Okay. Um, just, just trying to sort this out now. Sorry about this, guys. Yeah. Te technology for you. It is, te it is technology for you, I'm afraid. That's gone wrong at times. I'll just continue. Come on, take it. Nah, he's about to start a lap. Muddy uh, maybe going for another lap? No, he's bit in. Uh, a bit in. Bit twitchy. Close to the wall there, yeah. Watch him now. Ooh, touch too much curb here, maybe, I don't know. Ooh, it's a little bit there as well. Two hundred and 
six mile per hour down that street. Just have to slam the bricks on. That's it. Up there a bit. Oh, he takes that too wide. So I'm not didn't invalidate. Quiet and I was fuck. Excuse the language. Sorry. You were quiet. Right, okay. Right, okay. I can, that's easy. That's an easy fix. That's easy fix. <laughs> Sorry for the language, guys. I'm just any better. I'm delayed now. I'm delayed, are you? Maybe a bit more, maybe. What, a bit more volume. What, a bit more volume. Yeah, a bit more you. Oh, he's lost it up over you. Oh, top of radio. Top of radio on there as well. I don't want to quake though, because he's retired as well. Well, I thought it's been a bit as well, I think, so mate. Mason's gone very slow. Back again. Uh, hang on, I think I know what just picked me up twice. Your TV, maybe? No, 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 no. Um, my new camera's got a mic go into it. Oh! <laughs> so, has that solved the issue? I'll have a look now. I'm quite delayed, I think I'm like six, maybe, seconds. I think that might have been the issue. <laughs> so, I knew it was an easy fix! Yeah, yeah, saw it now. Nice, nice. Is it nice and clear as well on the actual stream? I don't sound robotic, yeah. echoey, or anything like that. I don't know. <laughs> I knew it was an easy fix. Yeah, they are. That's who sound. They do sound perfect now. Okay, brilliant. Nice. Right. Well, hey, well sorry about that one, guys. But the technology. I do apologise. Uh, it's me trying to be too clever for my own good, basically. Um, we learn as we go along, though. Okay, I'm now with the show. Do apologise about that last um, Q1. Luckily it was Q1, but we have missed out on some serious action, I do believe. Um, we have got Mega Centurion, who has unfortunately crashed out. So, right, I'm with you. So, I've actually been in the party with a few of the guys practising for this race. Izzy Wizzy Woo, uh, I know she's aiming to do well for repaying her sins of France. Um... Could potentially had a, a cracking race result for her, for her first race for season five, but um, something got the better of her, as I say, the red mist. But it is what it is, it's racing, it happens. But hang on, that red ball of RSF on corner it looks like he is on a lap. So, at the moment, fastest time that we've seen in the session set by CW26 with 141.9. Mr. Pigeon Munch is the closest person behind him. He's currently on an at lap, so we'll keep an eye on him. Um, anyway, quick recap of last week's session, shall we, guys? Um, whilst we are in Q1, I apologise about obviously the technical issues that we've had. Me being silly, not silly. Mike's on the go, hence why it's echoing. Oh, there's me. So, looking at the standings from last week, obviously Mr. Pitcher Munch took the, the maiden victory in France and scored a nice 25 points to take the lead of the championship. Unity Hush and the Alpine, though, close behind with a second with 18 points. Money Biscuit in third, so he's looking to strive on from last season where he um, was a championship challenger, I do believe, um, but actually wants to take the crown this season. Muddy Biscuit now is on an outlap speed with the devil on a set of softs this time. So he's. So I didn't drop, but Mega and, and Haas, which I think is. Bang, you're dead, I think. No, no, the other Haas, Pigeon Munch, they're quite close together. 
I don't know if a crash is going to happen here, I don't know. Quite close together, they both are on the lap. together they basically followed each other to the start finish line and I think Rocket should have backed off but he didn't so they just with each other so music was now a good duty here. Oh yeah now I see it where we're coming from now Jesus it's gonna compromise Rocket's lap miserably there. Anyway Ooh, he almost lost it there. Just a good So, Muddy Biscuit with the third place, Alpha Tauri then also scoring double points, then high up in the points as well with Matty 9029 scoring 12 points in the fourth. Meg Centurion in the McLaren, 10 points for him, so he sits the fifth in the championship CW26 at the moment. For, uh, no, was the fastest man on track, but Connor Todd has gone faster. Um, CW26 going for Williams there, and so Crazy Catfish. Over in the Ferrari with two points, the season was with 1.4 Red Bull. Um, that's their only bid in the championship there for me. So, so, so we've got Mega Musical Rocket still on the gearbox of Mr. Pigeon Munch, but now. And he only goes 14. You'd have do it the year. Yeah, that would have seriously compromised his yeah. time completely. Unfortunate there. Right. Um, how are you looking forward to this fire travel? Just wait, just can't wait to see people crash at a Rouge and Radion. Hey, Rouge and Radion. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the killers of this track. Well, it does appear that we have got a dry qualifying session. This guys look very good. Unsure about the race yet, though. Uh, it's interesting to see why Mega Biscuit was on mediums over for Q1. So, is that a hint that we have maybe have um, mixed conditions or a wet race again? Retiring from the session, he is happy with his time. He's a fast at the moment with the 141 3. 141 1 3, nice. No, 141 3. Oh, 141 3. Okay, right, Mason Duncan, he is now on Mason Duncan's now on an outlap. Two, yes. two lap hold soft in the Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Let's get on board with the Alpha Romeo. Yep. For a now. So, down the start, finish straight, open the DRS and approaching La Source, break hard just at half, just before the 50 meter board. Nicely, keep it tight and then exit, wide of the corner, exit down as you come now down the hill and approach own green. Now, a tricky break corner this one for this game. Will you do it flat out? Uh, ooh. Full commitment there, but there was a little ooh, bit of money. Jesus Christ! That would have definitely put him off, surely, but he's coming down the Camel straight as he approaches Lake Calm now. Watch that inner curb. Doesn't affect the right as the Alfa Romeo driver at all. And now down to Russell's. Corner with no name. That's a double left hand of a Puyon. Keeps it in seven. Off the throttle. Nice. He's got that nailed in down there. Now as he comes around, heading towards the Fania chicane. Carry the speed. But this is where you lose time. You can't gain it here, but you can lose it. Now from Campo Grande. Now Stavolo. Want to give the inside curve is and ride it? Definitely. Very tidy lap here from the Alpha Meridor and now around Blanchemont. That's the bus stop. Nicely done. Keeps it in third, it's not light up the back end. Now it comes through the gears, open for the RS as soon as you can. Definitely see he's running no traction there. It crosses Ooh, the line. Oh, no improvement. <sighs> I say that tyres. Three lap will tie it. He's on a lap. Can't be down though, but I think he's safe where he is. He's full docking. He got red fuel as well. Vettel is as well. Musical rocket there solidifies his fourth. Solidifies his fourth place there. It is easy though. She's managed to do second. 
Hmm. I think it's gonna be Q1 done. That is Q1 done. He has red fuel as well. So it's by luck, so he's on low fuel mode. Buddy Biscuit and Pigeon Munch. They need to retire in the bits. For us to get Q2 underway. So to that on out and retire, and we will have Q2 underway, here we are. Yep. So that was an interesting Q1 there for what we did see, but again, sorry guys about the technical difficulty yep. there, me trying to sort out a microphone. Silly old sausage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Connor Todd tops the session with a 141.3, Izzy Wizzy close behind, two less than two temps. Um, with 141.505, Alexa, tell Xbox to take a screenshot. Okay, don't, she's on strike. Um, <laughs> and then she's like, take a screenshot. Third. Yeah, can you do screenshots on, please? Uh, sure. Yep. Both screens. So eliminated from Q1 yep. is SLR Evo, Quaker Oats, Matty1929, that's not good, and Mega Centurion. <sighs> Let's see what, we'll know if it's, if it's a wet race now, because it may be on Soft, maybe. Yeah, if it is got, if we have got a hint of wet conditions, I'm sure they'll throw caution to the wind and oh, use their mm. soft to get unity the and unity and crazy fish showing mediums at the moment. Mm, they could be teasing us. They might just want to do a banker lap on them. I don't know. Yeah. We have got cars coming out of their garages there. And that yeah. is the Williams of CW26 out on softs. Oof. Okay guys in the stream, nice to see you there. Let's have your predictions for qualifying. Who do you think is going to get pole position? Uh, who's going to get... Uh, and also, thoughts for the race as well. Any inside information? Any... Oh wow, well, sorry to interrupt. I think Mason has... Mason at the Rouge has uh, spun it. Ooh, I think any damage. There, I don't believe but... he has any damage. No, unfortunately lucked out without, without damage, I can see. First person to set a lap would be CW26. It will be CW26 to set a lap first as he is currently coming from Kuyong. Where can just join Is he there? So Hippo reckons Izzy Pole, Rocket second, and Cornish third. Matty's pretty annoyed. Oh. Uh, yeah, unfortunate there, Matty. But I'm sure you can produce one of the most biggest comeback drives from RSF1 history. Uh, Can you do all what they did in Div 4? Last, last in France. Had a Corley Bannon came P3, I think, wasn't it? I think so. I actually didn't watch the F4 race due to other commitments that I had to take care of. Yeah, Mortal was last, and I think he came P... I think it was P2, I think. P2 or P3 came from dead last. Oof, nice. So, so Matty, you know... Keep 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 your head eye. You might be like a mortal. You might be able to get some nice points. And also at Spa as well. We don't know what the weather conditions are for the way for the race. It could be weather. No. It could be safety cars as well. I, I can imagine there's going to be safety cars. You know, over his first lap. Surely God, it's just going to happen. God said, uh, Connor Todd for pole uh, in Q1. F1 pole was uh, Connor Todd for pole. Pole was 41.3 in Q1, F1 pole was 40.7. Whoa! Oh, what's that one? Ooh! CW, CW moved backwards. Yeah, lost it. I didn't realize, I didn't even see it. So we need to read in chat. 
<laughs> yeah, I was reading the chat with you as long as well. But oh, I see it on stream. The stream has called Oof. it. Picked up. There's too much curb, I think. Yeah. On the oh, end. and Vitalis F71 up, up, up pure on. Ooh. We just call that one. <laughs> oh. They're all spinning today. Might be national spin day. <laughs> They're definitely on pirouette. They're on for the mood for the pirouettes. Yep. By looks, it is going to be the first one to come across the line. Let's see what Money Biscuit does around our pure on now. And Duncan now, Blanchemon, as he approaches the bus yeah. stop chicane. Safety guard guaranteed to oh, Xander Yuskin. Someone, an Alpine, I think, or Williams has binned it. Oh, Unity, going very slow, maybe. I don't know if he binned it. Ooh, 143. 143. I'm having an inkling they might be old softs that he's using from Q1. Mm, I don't know. Unless he may had a big oof on his lap. Murdy, I think, has been next one, I think. Yep, he's, yeah, he is. he's now navigating around bus stop chicane. Okay, we don't take too much curb on that exit. Oh, he's Ooh. done a 141.9 there. Two seconds, quicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, we can see a lot of people on mediums now. Yeah. Ooh. They're teasing us. Are they teasing us? Well, the majority of the field at the moment are on medium tyres. Let's see what Fessile SF71 is going to do for the remainder of his lap now as he approaches Brussels. Ooh, corner with no name there again. Very high. Oh, invited. Unlucky. Unlucky. CW did have purple sector one. Mr. Hush has put, oh well, that's a 15. Is he going to do another lap on him? Do you reckon? In the eye? What? Hush, now, see what he can do on the medium tyre. Just going to go past the camel straight. CW looks very clean at the moment. He did have purple sector one, I don't know about purple sector two. He's coming through boss stop now. And he's pit then. Unity you hush at the moment still seems to be pushing corner with no name. Yeah. What's he gonna do on Poo on? Ooh. Mighty Biscuit goes even faster. 141.7. Rossby is still following Unity Hush. Oh! He's lost it at Stabilo! Oh. Not Stabilo, Fangye! Ooh, what a lucky. And we have another off as well, I think. I uh, think it's a Red Bull. Cornish. Cornish. Oh, hang on. No wing. Oh, that's unfortunate there for Mr. Cornish. Right, Pigeon Munch. Here we go, in the hash. Do you want to take the lap round? Do you want to take the lap round, Tribal? Pigeon man. Yep. Coming down to the source. As I said, just before the 50 metre board, we're going to come tight. Maybe too much curb here, maybe. Trying to the right as much as possible. Yes. Up to a Rouge and Radion. Just, just. Coming down the Camel Straight. We really going for it, 204 mile per hour. Next fourth gear corner. Touch the curb. Don't want too much curb on the exit. Nice. I want to try and keep as tight as possible. Trying to invalidate it by you. Ooh. Got a back off bit, I think he did then. I don't the poo on. Don't want to touch that curb on the inside. 
the exit. Okay, if you don't want to touch the curbs, you. Otherwise, you will spin. Oof, I think you lost back in Purple Sector 2 for Pigeon Munch. He's definitely pushing. Now don't the bus stop. Let's keep it nice and clean. One inch, you may be too much curb, I don't know. And across the line with a 142 set. Wow, that is a good lap there for Mr. Pigeon Munch for the medium tyres as well. That is impressive. One, that, you know. That's but I, oh, I don't, is he is he woo though with a 142 5 oh, 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 in the Mercedes as well. She looks like she definitely means business. Crossing the line. The musical, no. Starting a lap. Ooh, Caesar Wizard with a 142 sick on on two laps off. Oh, Connor. Oh, no. Connor Todd. Todd on the softs as well. This is interesting. Well, I just flicked to see CW's doing Purple Sector 1. Right on board with him. Let's get some nice like, CW 26. Where is he now? Oh, yeah, there he is. And now approaching Connor with no name. Oh, nice. That had the poo on. There's a little break there. I don't know if, if he lost some time there. Soon find out. Ooh. Wow, we've had a crash. I think it's Falcon. Or, I don't know. Oh, he just let it. was down people through. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh, we need to touch the grass there on the exit. Pill sector 2 as well for CW. Oh, yeah. Can get away with a cheeky little flick of the grass from here and there around this track. Is he busy moving nice up the way for him? Down the bus stop. This week in, this week in loose time. Looks like he's got it cemented. Oh, look at that. Nice. That's good put away there from the Williams driver. Only oh, 142 2. Goes P3. That must have been a really solid lap by Muddy. Is it Wizard coming back on that? What's Caesar Wizard doing now on his. Is he, he's surely got to come into the pits. He's pitting, yeah. The tail's done three laps. Can't have told me he'd be coming in. Yeah. What was that? The tail has set on done three, lap on his, three laps on his medium tyres. And still. What are you going? again? Doing the, he's doing those ties in the race, maybe if it's a dry race. Ooh. That's a big gamble. It's a very big mm. gamble. Right. So, here we go. Crazy Catfish, Mason's out of Vinny Hush is now coming out on soft tyres. They are out in the danger zone here, guys. We've got three minutes left of it, or just over like three minutes left of this session. These are guys that don't want to be sat out in Q3. They want to be up on track position, especially by the looks of it. For the way I'm guessing that Vitale SF71 is burning through these medium tyres, we've got an interesting race to unfold. Hornish a place, you know, P on P13, let's not set a lap yet. No, and he's out on mediums as well, so he might yeah. try to get through here. I think he has a musical rocket behind him as well. But he does. Unfortunately, musical, he's been picking up quite a lot of duty here. Yeah. But it does look like the Red Bull is towards the end of a lap now. Yeah. Mm. do. It's 43. Ooh, only P9. Ooh, straight away down oh, into the Oh, just dropped the P10. Falcon currently out on an outlap on medium tyres as well, P9 as well, so... 
is taking a gamble if he wants to get through or is he just sticking with the strategy see if he can defend him do, do a one more run on these tires and see if he can eat them out a little bit longer in the race Pigments, I think Pigments have come up on softs in piece seven so I think he's like he'll do, if I was in his position he's doing what I would do probably it's like I'll just come out and like keep an eye on the timing board. If you do act and, fast. And yeah, and if I'm if I'm just tooting around on a set of salts and looking after him, okay, fair enough, I can use that set again in Q3 for my first run. Um, Ooh, stoic draw four one five. Nice. Um and then like obviously as you drop down and when you think you have to like nail the lap in, you can just go for it. We have oh, we have sector one. So where are we? At the moment? We have got Mason Duncan, Crazy Catfish. So he's currently P9. These are two potential threats that can obviously knock Mr. Pigeon Munch down out of Q2. So yeah. Mr. Pigeon Munch has now pretty much got no option other than to go for it. Go for it in a little. Go for hammer and tongs. Yeah, hammer and tongs if he wants to get through to Q3. And you see now he's putting the energy through the tires, soft tires now. So. There's a red bull up in front though. I think that's Cornish. Yeah. yeah. So you see now Mr. Pigeon Munch starting to warm up his tires to get energy through them because he's going to want to absolutely nail this lap. It's a do or Cornish die. Cornish maybe you want to get out of the way. Cornish get love getting up way lovely for him. We're going to stay on board with Mr. Pigeon Munch for this because this should be what I hope for a cracking lap. Right, opens up DRS down the start, finish straight into the La Source hairpin. Nice short shift in third, don't light up the rear end. Ride the apex a little bit, but not too hard because you will lose time. Hug the wall as you come down the hill as you approach O Rouge. Up the hill, O Rouge from the top as you turn cusp on over to Radion. Lovely and clean. And then the King of the Camel onto the Camel straight now. DRS wide open. You, you, you want as many ponies out of that Ferrari power unit for that house engine. You're 25 miles an hour into Le Calm now. Nice and tidy there from Mr. Pigeon Munch. Cut the corner slightly down the inside, but keep it legal, you can do it. Into Brussels now. Give me a lovely and tight. Yeah, and into the corner of no name. Watch the apexes, because they do unbalance the car. Head down the hill now towards Kuyon. Pigeon match now heading towards the Fanier chicane, drop it into fourth for the extra rotation. Now you want to hug a little bit of the apex on the other, ride it slightly, and Eshmins can now come into campus. Fourth gear, ride the apex on the exit into Stavolo. Ooh, purple sector two. Currently one second over a second up on his time. Stretch the seventh gear as much as he can now as he comes round the corner into Blanchemont. So new tires on the brakes. Hard on the brakes now into the bus stop chicane. Ooh. He's gonna set the lap. Back end. Oh, 1.41 there. 1.3 seconds faster than his previous lap. What a lap. And that's the end of Q2. Oh, that is the end of Q2. The eliminations from Q2. SF, Vettel SF71, Falcon F1 2000, Cornish, Crazy Catfish, and Bang You Dead. And they're all making you runners. Let's get them to either cross the line or turn the pits. He's got into the, He's the pits. <laughs> so that was an interesting Q2. Mm. We, we, had a, we had a mixed run. Very. Okay, viewers, who are you voting for for the win? Who do you want? Who are you supporting? Are you team one? Well, we don't have team principles anymore, but they're unwritten team principles. Are the team principles rooting for their drivers? Shot. 
was like 14 runners, wasn't it? Sorry? 15 was bang dead. Yeah. There we go, guys. Through to Q3 now. So the top shoot out for pole position will be Mr. Pigeon Munch, Sturridge, Muddy Biscuit, Connor Todd, Unity Hush, CW26, Mason Duncan, Musical Rocket, Izzy Wizzy Woo. And Caesar to Wizard. Chris LFC wants Muddy for Team Alpha, uh, Alpha Tauri to win. Team Tauri, the TTs. And then eliminated is Vettel lsf 71 Falcon F1 2000, RSF and Cornish, Crazy Catfish, and Bang, you're dead. I thought his name was Bang, your head a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Q3. Oh guys, it is time to see the fastest person in Spa Division 2 set their lap for the race ahead. There's a time frame of 12 minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like both all look like the garages are not mucking around. I see an Aston Martin out there yeah. coming out very quickly. On the top. Yep. Well, Mr. Connor Todd, it's actually nice to see the Aston Martin come out first. Mm. I'm happy that Aston Martin are back in F1. I like the green and the British racing green. Mind you, as well. This does now look well because Connor Todd was showing some good pace in the softs in earlier sessions. So, who'll be the first one to set the ball? Down? Mm -hmm. In Q3. So, has any great predictions changed for anyone who's going to have P1? Or are we seeing the same predictions? Mm, that is a good question for the audience out there and also new viewers as well. If you've um, only come in uh, halfway through Q1 or Q or Q2, who do you think is going to be pole position today? Who do you think is going to do the race win? Um, safety cars, what do you think the weather's going to be? Or what are you hoping the weather's going to be? I know some out there are hoping it for absolutely torrential conditions. Last night's race in F1, it turned into an absolute monsoon for the people. Yes. Um, it was wet, then it was inters, and then at the end we had a safety car and it was softs. Yeah. We had an all we were an all tire compound. Yep. <laughs> Which it produced some a cracking race towards the end. Connor, so Andy Asgin wants Connor for Team Aston, obviously. Andy, I'm looking forward to seeing you at Spa on Wednesday. Right. Let's get on board now with Connor Todd as he now approaches the start finish line to start his first flying lap of Q3. Into La Source hairpin now. Ooh, a bit twittery on the um, mm. back end there. Up to Erosion Radion. Lovely line. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, well, we've had an off in the back, I think. Pigeon, no. It's fine. Oh, well, wow. just Caesar to Wizard of Binder of Erosion Radion. Yes, up to the damage. Oh, he has some oh Connor Todd! He's just no. Oh. How has he survived that? Ooh. Watch him out on the stream. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ! Is watching our back. Ooh. How did a wheel not come off? Oh, he is one very, very lucky, lucky boy. Lucky boy, like, yeah. So, first person that looks for it is, is going to be Izzy Wizzy Woo. The next person to be to finish a lap. First person to finish a lap. Let's see what she can do. Absolutely. Whoa. Purple Sector 2, obviously. She's the first one across the line, isn't she? So she's going to set the purples. Yep. Well, Connor moving nicely out the way for the other people. She comes around bus stop. 
And the bank uh, at the moment is going to be a 143. 143. We're so going to match play. that. Buddy coming across. 142.5. Musical rocket. Musical. Yeah. Caesar 156. Six. He didn't have a good lap. Very Ooh. close here. So next across the line is Mason. Yep. What Mason can do? Oh, ooh, 149. Sturridge then coming along. Oh, wow. I think we've got Red Bull over. Caesar to Wizard again. Don't know what's happening with him. He has no damage up. Sturridge there sets a 141.6 as well. It'll be coming in now to s ooh. Is he busy he will go to gig? So you've invalidated. No. At least he's going for you was going again. Or is she just rushing back to the pits? Yeah. Yeah, her ERS is, is off. She's not, she's not better yeah. than the ERS. She's just rushing back to the pits. Yeah. We got Connor maybe the first one to come out. Again. Andy, please don't jump and don't jinx me. Please don't jinx me. <laughs> yes, I used Connor was was a very lucky boy. Yeah. Yeah, Connor. Yeah. Connor Todd. How uh, did you survive that? I do not know. That was a he big went straight oof. head on with the barriers. I see, I don't know how the hell you survived that. He literally just binned it, but then just, then just went straight That was just like, bang! It was a proper crash. Yeah, it somehow. It's going for another run by the looks of it. Ooh, uh, maybe if he can find time. Mercedes driver, think well, second run. Everyone else is pitting for fresh slots. If they have any, they should. Ca camel straight. Camel. Camel, yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> you sound like you're saying camel. <laughs> <laughs> Up the camel straight. Ooh, maybe too much curb here. Skittish, skittish. Keeping it tight though. The quick flip back. Don't want to go too wide, otherwise he'll invalidate. Nice. Yeah, nicely on there. Just on track limits, but it looks Pool a bit down through Poo on. Ooh! You can get away with that. You, if you do the line right, if you go around the outside of Pure on that apex, you do get away with it. I, I find you lose time if you do that. Oh, Ooh, and even dead. Oof. How did he get that kind of damage? He has no damage, what? How the hell has he got not damage? I hope the lobby settings are correct. Yeah! Because you've got Connor Todd going smack into a wall. Just gets his front wing knocked off. I hope the damage rate is the damage rate is meant to be on standard. Yeah, it's just not like on do standard. Unless it is. Uh, the only looks like the, at the, moment. the actual damage model itself is reduced, but the damage rate is standard because um, mm. it was deemed that obviously side pod damage and stuff like that. Yeah. Right, okay, so out maps is Mason yes. Duncan, Unity Hush. He's looked like he's gonna be. It is Unity Hush, the host. Yes, this one. We have to review the lobby settings when we finish the race, maybe. Well, I'll have to call out. I'll have to double check it. Somewhere. Yeah. Alright then. Is, is the host Unity Hush? Yeah, the host is Unity Hush, but there's no way I need. Well. No. 
not going to do it in the middle of G3 right now, so it's going to no. into the last horse hairpin. There's a busy move there coming out, she's going nice. to try and solidify her pole position. Up. Cut a Rouge and Radion. Nice. So stable through there from the Alpine driver. Fairly. Getting a little Ooh, slip stream. Getting a little slipstream. Drops the Tangle stair. Tangle cheeky cheeky toe. Interesting. Hmm? Just watching the way Unity Hush is driving around from yeah. the corners now. Ooh. Someone didn't validate there. Lift to one. Ice. Oh, I see this one's him. This Renault engine when it's screaming sounds beautiful. Nice in now, Stavolo. 700, 700 tenths up from his previous time. So, talking like a, said, a high 141 at the moment. So, bus stop. Ooh. It did look like it's going right there, but he recovered it quite well. It's a 41. 143. Nearly a second faster. Right, okay. Mm. Mr. Pigeon much sees the Wizards Garden P4. He's got time for another run if he's got the fuel yep. for it. Who's going next across the line? Is that Sturridge? No starting. Right, here we go. No guys. starting. Last minute of Q3. This is the battle for pole position. Let's have a look of what we've got going on the track here. So we have got a pass of Mr. Pigeon Munch not on outlap still. Uh, what's that? So the first person at the second one is to cross the line to be able to defend if he's got another lap which I doubt it this is going to be his What's last up? chance Mason Dunks in the Alfa Romeo mm. he's up I think oh, he's six he goes P6 can't be two temps up I'll be back now my got the fuel. go let's have a drink okie dokie musical rocket now going to start their next flying lap. Last chance saloon now. He's going to be the last one to cross the line. CW. He, he's invalidated, so he's not going to be able to do anything about it. Who we've got to see is a wizard, though. He's invalidated. Behind him, though, is Unity Hush, who's also invalidated, so we are not going to see anything from there. But the next person to cross the line, who is currently still on a flying lap and valid, is Sturridge. Can Sturridge? Have an answer. Closely behind Sturridge is Izzy Wizzy Woo. She's not going to be able to improve, so she's got to settle for P2. So, Sturridge, can he take pole position? Short shift in there. Goes fastest for 141 1. Validated, he's not going to finish it. Connor told looks like he's had another off as well. That looks like she's all she's wrote for, but Musical Rocket, though, still on the flying up. Can Musical Rocket recover pole position for the Mercedes drivers? And Mason Duncan, as well, is right behind Mus Musical Rocket. This is still the battle for pole position. Mr. Pigeon Munch there has gone faster than 141. Zero! We are close. Can we get a 140 out of these guys, do you reckon? Musical Rocket now. Last out, last corner. Plants the power down. Goes across the line. 141.5 at Mason Dunks. Oh, he's invalidated. That is all she wrote for Q3. Mr. Pigeon Munch in the house has scored. Pole position. Okay, Connor.
So there we go, guys. That is Q3. Alexa, tell Xbox to take a screenshot. So Mr. Pigeon matched over 1.10. So close to the 40s there. Sturridge in second. Unity Hush in third. Izzy Wizzy in fourth. Caesar Wizard in fifth. Musical Rocket in sixth. Seventh Mason Dunks. Eighth Muddy Biscuit. Ninth CW26. And tenth Connor Todd. Not too sure if my co comes putting his back yet. We shall find out as we get closer to the race now. Ooh, grey skies seem approaching of. Is it really Lincoln? <laughs> That'd be funny if it was, uh, if it have actually happened as well, and everyone's Xbox just took a screenshot. Um, right, grey skies. Let's see what these drivers are going to be starting on. So they're on their dry tyres. A 10 SF71. Okay, didn't make it through on soft tyres. A lot of the back of the field are running on softer tyres. <laughs> no, I won't do that at all, uh, because that would mean that mine will do it as well, and that won't be good. Although it could probably get out really quickly. It wouldn't. It wouldn't turn the stream off. It would just have no game capture. I don't know what's going on at the moment. Well, oh no. The strategies are changing. Medium tyres. So who are we going to have starting? So Mr. Pigeon Man, Sturge Unit Hush on softs. Mediums is Izzy Wizzy, Caesar Wizard and Musical Rocket. They're going to want to get past these two. Uh, but then the slick driver, softer, softer compounds behind them of Mason Dunks, Muddy Biscuit, CW26, Connor, Vitel and Falcon are going to want to get past these three drivers so they don't hold up, get held up. Cornish, Crazy Catfish, Bangy Dead is starting on mediums. Uh, Evo is going for a little bit of a different strategy and going for soft at the back there to get past the medium runners and hopefully make up a few positions for the start. Quaker Oats on mediums, Matty1929 starting on softs, Mega Centurion on mediums and so is JJ Hudson. We have a full grid for the start ladies and gentlemen. That is nice to see. It's nice to see as well. You can see, like in my cam, what in, in my screenshot, and we are underway. Countdown has begun. I don't think I've got my co-coms. Tribal, are you back yet? Let's check his party. Here he is. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, three seconds to go. Two, one, zero. Belgium Grand Prix for Division Two will get underway after the formation. Right then. Tires. Right then, guys. Let's take you through the field today. We have got JJ Hudson in the Aston Martin starting on soft tyres, uh, starting on medium tyres in P20. Meg Centurion on medium tyres in the McLaren starting P19. Matty, 1929 in the Alpha Towers, also starting on medium tyres. Craig Carotes and one of the Ferrari runners starting on medium tyres and his teammate in 16th. Um, Bang your death, just been disqualified from the session. Looks like people are getting a little bit surprised for each other. So, so SLR Evo in the Ferrari starting on soft tyres. Bang your death, we fell 15th and 14th. RSF on Cornish and the Red Bull start in on the medium tyres in 13. Falcon F1 2000 in the McLaren starting on soft tyres. 
Vitello SF71 in the Alpine, he's starting P11. Prime position, first of the firm, fresh tyre runners, uh, starting in P11. Connor Todd then, unfortunate Q3, him, Q3 for him, starts in P10. CW26 starts in P9. Muddy Biscuit in P8 there for Alpha Tower. Mason Duncan in the Alpha Romeo starts in P7. Musical Rocket in the Mercedes starts in P6. Season 2 Wizard on medium tyres starts in P5 in the Red Bull. Easy Wizzy Woo in the Mercedes starting P4 on medium tyres. Where your top three guys, Unity Cash and the Alpine starting on soft tyres, start in third. Sturridge 151515 in the Alfa Romeo starts on soft tyres. And the pole position man in the Haas, the giant Russian car, Mr. Pigeon Munch, with that awesome lap of the one for Zero, also, well, one, 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 I think. I can't remember. Um, so close to the 140s there. In pole position. His race to control. And now he needs to back the field up. So he doesn't have a long wait. There's a str the optimal strategy, guys. So it's either soft, hard or soft, soft mediums. However, as we all know, if you're good with your tyres, you can do the one stop from medium, soft, soft, medium. Okay. Grid now coming on to the grid, uh, lining up onto the grid. Cars, I was meant to say. Get my way to that today. As we now wait for the field to line up. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. One lights, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. No! And Mr. Pigeon Man is bogged down at the start and looks like Unity House is going to get the move on him. Is Unity House is going to take the pole, going to take the lead of the race on the inside of Look at Lissau's hairpin now. Great start from. Oh no, we've got a retirement already. JJ Hudson that must be taken out. But Mr. Pigeon Munch, here we go, guys. And look at the red ball is all over the place at the moment. Trying to look for. Oh, we've got a virtual safety car, so there is no more racing. So unfortunately, we've got um, missed out on a lap one. Uh, oh, Rouge. <laughs> My ear drums. <laughs> Sorry, I do apologise about that. I do apologise, but I do love this sport. This is what we live for. So JJ Hudson, unfortunately, there starts his first race, starts last out on the first lap at the first corner. Rotten weekend for him at Spa. Move on till next week, though, guys. It's, all, it's a long championship. But at the moment, we have got Unity Harsh currently under pressure. Well, not even under pressure. With a Mr. Pigeon Month right behind his gearbox. And then storage slightly further back as well. It says gap to the leader. I don't want leader. I want interval. There we go. That's much better. So, we are racing again, guys. Green flag conditions. Mr. Pinch Munch has been left snapping and napping a little bit. But Sturridge is right on the back of that pass. Hang on. Muddy Biscuit. So close to Musical Rocket there. Can we, will he be able to get a run in it? Up to the bus stop chicane. Round Blanc Chimon, has he got the run on him? No, he hasn't. What have we got going up the front here? Jesus, wet Christ. Lots going on, still line of stone. But we've got people changing positions now. Oh no, it's just the race control. No, you're not DRS enabled. It's only lap two. I love Pokemon. Just take three laps to do maps. Mr. Pigeon Munch there, as he now follows up Unity Hash up Eau Rouge. Oh God, what was that? I just saw. Caesar Wizard gets ever so out of shape up Eau Rouge there. Oh, and who's that around? That's Musical Rocket. there for Musical Rocket. Right, so Cornish has a penalty. Oh, 
Oh no, Cornish is not in there. Yeah, Cornish has a penalty. That's not unity harsh. That's that's better. For some reason, there looks like the game is getting confused. If he was more in the order, so Mr. Pidgeon still follows unity harsh. Then Sturridge is not left behind. He's time and spirit. I love Code Masters time and screens. They are so reliable. on board now as we've got Caesar Wizard also very close behind. They're very close in front of the Red Bull as well. Burge there, second fastest lap of the session. Now Falcon. Lap times are coming in, wakey wakey, yes I am awake, I'm just keeping up with the race and for some reason I don't, I don't have a co-com so I'm having to do all the work myself here and my watch has just decided to go absolutely mental. Oh we've got a yellow flag there, up on Eau Rouge. Ferrari there losing up Eau Rouge, but it looks like no harm done. Yes, excuses, excuses, Camo, I know, I know, but I don't know where our friend One Tribal has gone. So Unity Hush still in the lead. The skies are looking quite glim and glum out there. I don't know if we're going to get any conditions changed to change the way this race runs, but the top three are still limestone almost. And then Izzy Wizzy Woo has got a massive D no, she hasn't got a massive DRS tray behind her, just the mini map showing me something else. But then here we go, we've got Caesar Wizard showing this starting this kind of long train. We've got Caesar Wizard, Muddy Biscuit, then there's a little bit of a gap there. We've got CW26, Patel SF71. Sturridge is still... Oh, Mr. Pigeon No, he hasn't. Where's Unity Hush gone? Unity Hush is done at night. He lost it. That was weird. Okay. Must have lost it when we were riding on board with the train back in the midfield. Yes, I see. Thank you very much, Camo. Okay, so Pigeon Munch now in the lead of the race. <laughs> He's making a drink. So Sturridge is right behind Mr. Pigeon Munch. Caesar Wizard as well. Caesar Wizard looks like he wants to get past Muddy Biscuit. SF71 is keeping up with the Williams, is not letting them get away. The two medium runners are, well, the fastest two medium runners, and there's a three second time penalty. Oh, we've got someone gone off up Eau Rouge by the looks of it. It's Matty. Unfortunately, there for Matty, that drops to the back of the field. Tell he is very close to CW. He's going to want to get past as he comes up to the bus stop chicane. No, thinks better of it. But Caesar Wizard, is he going to have a run now on Miss um, on Muddy Biscuit? They've got DRS. Yes, I'm on my own at the moment, Ben. Uh, for some reason, I don't have a co-com as he's gone off somewhere. Right, Caesar Wizard. Still right, is Sturridge going to have a run? Is Sturridge going to be able to use his DRS? If you want to come in, come in. I'll have you on. OK, 
paying for that because I don't have the tools left. Oh, wow. I was just about to get another co-com, so I wonder where you're gone. No, sorry, I had to sort something out. Oh. Right, okay, I have actually missed out quite a bit because I'm not, I can't have eyes all over the track, so recap for you. Huh. Unity Hush was leading the race, he has now dropped back to 8th position after having an off, which I unfortunately missed because I'm trying, like I said, I was trying to do everything. Um, but Izzy Wizzy Woo is currently running in P3. I mean, hmm. Well, we've had an off of musical rocket. Yep. Uh, no damage by the looks of it. JJ Hudson's left the session, hasn't he? I don't. I DNF. Yeah, DNF, but I think he's D I think he's DC from the uh, if he's DC right. I'm gonna mix things back up a bit. I'm gonna treat F2 for a little bit. Right, Ben, if you can join the session as a spectator, you're more than welcome and we'll do a trio of comms. <laughs> Three eyes across the track. Three eyes across the track. Stowage is on the back of Pigeon Munchin here. Can I do the move? He's looking at it. He's committed. No, backs out of it. No, he backs out of it. But thinks are better. But he's going to. It means he's going to have another run. It's just putting Mr. Pigeon Munch under pressure. And also, whilst Mr. Pigeon Munch is defending, he is going to be obviously wearing out these soft tires. This is playing in the hands of Izzy Wizzy Woo kind. She's sat there in P3 at the moment on a medium yep. tire. She's just got to manage now because uh, roughly I reckon about the same pace the tires now. You know, hers are slightly worn in, so she's got a little bit of. Um, musical Rocket has gone on to hearts. So he just pitted. Yeah, so Musical Rocket and like he's as well. trying to do a recovery session. So he's just dropped back a bit though. 610. Oh, we've had it off of a, a bang on dead. You bend it where Sergio Perez did on Sunday. Mm -hmm. No, that's not where Sergio Perez bend it. Around he goes again, Ooh. nearly. His tyres are going to be really? red hot. His tyres are going to be absolutely boiling hot as well. Yeah. Is Sergio going to be able to do the move through here? No. That would it be able to get close. No, oh, yeah, no here we go. Izzy no. Wizzy, she's right there. She's just keeping in their DRS. Mm. But this is also yep. dragging along Muddy Biscuit, the Tell SF71 and Caesar Wizard. Yep. Oh no, so the Telesa 71's mean... dropped off. But hang on, Sturridge is a lot closer to what he was to Mr. Pigeon Munch. Yep. He is now going to have DRS, but also he's got to be careful. Izzy Wizzy Woo is going to come in. Muddy for the win, Ooh. says um, Camo. He's hoping that. Here we go, guys. Will he make the move? No. Ooh. Pigeon Munch has put that house in the perfect place yep. to defend. Oh Rouge, oh Rouge, what have we got going on, oh Rouge? Oh, wow. Um, I think it was Ferrari. Yeah, Quaker. There's been no second by Cornish if that was the problem. And then the party is open like if you are ready to join the comms team. He is here. I, I am here, but up. there is no box. You don't need a box because I'm doing it from the PC. Oh You're automatically Perfect. included. Good evening, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen in the chat. Good evening, Benjamin. It's oh, nice yeah, to see you again. <laughs> no, that's a no no. Um, here we go as well. Um, we're not Ooh, doing the, we're not go doing the with a three pull. second penalty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. Okay. Do I have permission? What? For the famous quotes? <laughs> you know. have famous. You have permission for the famous quotes, but he's asking obviously to get a certain person on. Ooh, I on. Oh, I very close. Ooh, oh, I'm here on. we go. We are in the pit. Oh, so it is isn't Pidgey Munch. Ooh. Just back in that. Go through the pit. It's yeah, one it's tribal nice. go. Um, for town. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Muddy Biscuit is in DRS range of Izzy Wizzy Woo. Those socks are starting to go off the cliff. He just about keeps it on. 
Yep. Is he close oh, enough? No. no, I think Izzy Wizzy Woo. She's going to be defending with some ERS yeah. as well. Um, with the straight oh, up. Yeah. A lot of people. Mediums. Oh, hello. Polish on Pigeon. Z. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh, he's For quite bad. Honda Power! Oh, but Mr. Pigeon Man, she's coming back at him! Whoa. What a move! On the inside! Contact! Contact! What a move yeah. from Pigeon Man! She kept it in there! Set with three second penalty. Different gravy. Yeah. Cornish there, no getting Cornish a bit wide. Three second. I'm loving this. He's only just joined. <laughs> <laughs> right, Caesar Wizard is going to have a run on Muddy. Coming around Blanchemont now. Honda Power! Oh, by less of seven! Oh, what a move! Safety car. And just before the safety car and gets in the get box, 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 box. What happened? Oh, he been dead. Just lost it on. I think yeah. he glanced the wall. I just caught him glanced the wall. Yeah, he did the wall. Oh, where was we hitting now? He's on hard. Does he hit and sacrifice a few positions for mediums? Yeah. No, he stays out. No, he's come on. Is he on hard? Is he on soft? Here comes Izzy Wizzy Woo. Is he on soft? Effectively, the net leader now. But she's gone onto the hard tyres. Maybe she's got. She's got to use a different compound by all means. But. Well, the hunt uh, is safe gun. So Caesar Wizards. Wait, what? This is for they've going they've, out they've, flat. Overta Qualified. they've overtaken the safety car. Oh. Sugar. Yeah, they're out. Yeah. They're out of the is race. He, is he boo? They've overtaken the safety car, so they're. Yeah. What the hell? Oh. Surely the, that's not. I think that's good to the game. Surely they just drop back behind the safety car again in the same position. Well, I don't know. It does. That's it, a new it, thing. Dead. It does say don't overtake the safety car. I know, yeah, but sometimes people like go just ahead of it, just to they get annoyed, don't they, and then just drop back to the position. Yeah, but I think I've not seen that before. The amount of time, of the amount, the time. amount of time they are ahead of the safety car. I think it was just like too much, too late. Yeah. Well, the big gain is out of that. Oh, that Max Centurion, Falcon, that CW, said, yeah. Muddy. Absolutely. Mr. Pigeon Munch as well. Fresh mediums. Vettel said it happened to him, it happened to him in a different league. Ooh. So, crikey, man. Yes, Camo Merck are doing unbelievably well this week. I'm going to put in for a team transfer, I think. I don't like running this team. <gasps> Oh, dun, dun, dun. oh, for some app then. <laughs> Crikey. Crikey. Crikey, mate. <laughs> to be yeah. on this race here. <laughs> By all means, so under safety car conditions. So, for those guys out there as well who have been part of RSL for a while, um, quick tip: do not overtake the safety car. Ben F1 racer, car. formerly known as RSL Von Verstappen, used to be part of the comms team. Uh, a special race, come on! No, Vettel, that is the answer. Final <laughs> answer. Don't Our make survey me, says. Don't make me ban you from the chat if you ask again. Computer said no. <laughs> East German doesn't understand this English nonsense. No, so. well, they're not used to the word no, <laughs> are they? I should say nein! Nein! <laughs> That's rude. Bet's on the winner then. Who's going to win this race? I yeah. think Pigeon Match has got it. I don't think Sturridge will unless those hearts kick in right at the end, but. Oh! You must always leave a space on the safety well, car! The Haas has got no front wing. No front wing. And they've had to s if it is it the back of musical, the Haas did. Ugh. Ooh. That's um, yeah, a bit of a strange one. Oh wow, yeah, they've got to go for the five seconds. Just can't be roofed. 
And the tell SF71 says that we should go back to the last game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could, but we need to stay, we need to stay with the times. Yeah, they just need to sort the curbs out in this game, and it'll be all right. It might change. But with buying you dead, and it might change in October. It. It's yes. gonna be a long time before we have a safety car restart. Mm. If they catch on good time, it could be this lap. It could be start of lap eleven. I think they will be. I think we were gonna have to, to a good twelve laps of racing in a moment coming up for us. Yep. So. 10 lap sprint. That's what we'd like to see. <laughs> yeah, the we'll talent. Their tires. <laughs> you have a 5 second time penalty for what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for what? For smashing into a car. <laughs> no, Massa has a time penalty. You mean slow pattern? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Tell you what, Falcon is sick. Started yeah. outside the top ten. Absolutely, looking good. decent. It's very looking very decent. Let's just hope he doesn't bin it. Oi! You leave Falcon bot. Predictions <laughs> mm. ref for guys Sorry to make a noise Oi, Mr. Spinala. Excuse me. Who oh, down? You're right, them. That's yeah, the tell yesterday. Spinala. Oh, that's Ooh. just him in his sleep. <laughs> Okay. Bell, Bell said I got three second penalty for crashing. No, it's okay, you don't have to worry about it now, you crashed. No, he's, he's dead. <laughs> right, it doesn't look like he's the safety it, he... car's coming in this lap, so we are coming and we have got a uh, lap around maybe. safety car. No, I don't think it is, otherwise we are not going to be late. Musical but... has lost his front wing again. No front wing? No front wing. He cannot afford. Yeah, he's lost front wing again. I mean, you could say it's living up to its name, the Belgium Grand Prix. We just need wet weather now, going this slow. Yeah, by all means, <laughs> safety car. Two right, laps. As we're, as we're going on the safety car, I just do need to stop for a toilet break, so I'm going to hand you over to these two guys. Step aside, here we go. <laughs> yep, Cornish Pidding. I think he's going medium. No, softs, yeah. It's quite right call, to be honest. So on Musical. You've got a few of these drivers on hard tyres. Do you think they just need to hold on for the next few laps in their position and then claw their way up the field at the end? I don't know because Cornish just pitted for softs, but Musical's just pitted for mediums. Yeah, it's a bold strategy. I mean, we have Sturge and Hart on two lap hards. We have Connor Todd with one lap hards. Quaker Oaks with one lap. Evo with two laps to finish off the people who's on hards. The question is, Cornish, can he can he get up the field with the with a fresh freshly out the garage softs? We're up to forty viewers. Lovely. Hey. <clears throat> Safety cars got, in this lap. Yeah, we've got to wait for Musical Rocket to get the pack, which he's about to, and we will get underway. Oh. Did you sanitize your hands? Good, 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 good. It's good. Cool, it's safe. Right, I am back, ladies and gentlemen. Have we got the yep, safety car I'm, coming in this lap, hopefully? We should, because everyone is now bunched up. So is that the Pigeon Munch? Is he going to do what I did in F4? Do a boat ass? No, <laughs> don't do a boat ass. That is the worst safety car restart ever. And I remember Camo doing one. <laughs> I mean, no one died on mine. So, that's There's no one standing behind me, you pillock. <laughs> <laughs> safety, safety car, car in, in this lap. So, Vroom, it's pretty much to, to control the field. Lonzy he keeps a constant speed. <laughs> yes, Camo, I did have to check because I do have another question. Camo has been waiting months for this. <coughs> here we go. Right. right, here we go. Ooh, he's going 69, 70 mile per hour. He's getting the field ready. Mr. Kitchen yeah. Munch has now, he's weaving the track, warming up his tyres. Now, my bet's saying he's going to go. 
through the bus stop and bolt out of the bus stop. If I was him, I'd wait till the start finish line. Do a boot ass. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's, he's gone, gone, he's gone, he's into gone. the bus stop now, here we go guys! Go, 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 go! He's caught him napping! Wow. Mr. Pigeon Munch, what a cracking launch from the safety car! However, he's managed to get away, but no... Well, are we they are a little bit spaced out, it is a good, clean safety car restart from the field. Yep. He's already got a second gap to Money Biscuit, here comes yep. Unity Hush though, up the hill. Well, Cornish, Ooh, we have a little fight with Cornish and Matty, they're side by side. Well, let's get some battle on the roof. Oh, oh Unity Hush! For life speed! Is he going to make a dive for it? Is he going to stack behind? He's going to tuck behind him. But hang on, we've got further action up the Kemble straight here. Oh my god! Here comes Cornish! What a thing! Oh my god! Nice! <laughs> So far, boys and Evo with the most pen for just six seconds. Yeah, on there. Ooh, that crazy fish has got three up. seconds. Cornish maybe going from no. Good. Ooh, Cornish oh, Cornish. Oh, Muddy Biscuits closed in on Mr. Pigeon Munch. Oh, wow. Oh, oh no. Musical oh. and Frankie dead again. Contact again. Bang you dead with five oh, seconds. Oh, Christy, they almost hit each other again. Yeah. Right, luckily that is not a try and desperately... Cornish was a try with him. another penalty. Look at that ERS he's using to keep up with the top three on them mediums. He's trying on them hard tyres. Yeah. But look at this, guys. It's first top, top three are closed. Mr. Pigeon Munch is going to be under threat very shortly. Unity Hush there setting the fastest lap of the session on the medium tyres. Yeah. He's going to get the double slipstream. We still don't have DRS yet because it's only the second lap of the safety uh, car restart. I think Cornish has damaged his pitch again. Yes, yeah. Cornish has damaged. Look at the slipstream. Muddy Biscuits game for Pigeon's defending with his ERS. The top three neck yeah. and neck. Not this time. Oh wow, so, uh, Quaker. Oh, oops, Quaker's been in the Ferrari. Is that a rouge? Is that going to be a safety car? That's got to be. Not by the look of it. No. Hey? This game is. Crap. <laughs> the game is broken. The game is broken. The top three. Storage is trying desperately. The ERS usage there, out of that corner. Without pens as well as musical down in 15th at the moment, all to play for still. I know this battle here for the for, for P1 is it's far from over. But the question is, can Sturridge keep him in a window where he's not too far behind and when his hard tyres have got the edge over his medium runners, which I don't think is <coughs> gonna be well, no, I don't think he's gonna be able to do it. Right, so we've got the top three all within nine tenths of each other. Ooh, wash a bit squirmish on the rear then. Yeah. Right, guys, we have now got DRS. Mr. Pigeon Munch is in trouble. Without he is a sitting duck. There is nothing he's going to... He is going to be a sitting duck. Right. We're on board with Money Biscuit. He's the, he's the piggy in the middle right now. He's got the run on Mr. Pigeon Munch. He's into the slipstream. For life speed! He makes the move and he splashes past the ass. Muddy Biscuit now P1, but Unity Harsh, he's going to want to get be the next person to get past Mr. Pigeon Munch as well. Has Mr. Pigeon Munch got enough to defend and hold back, or can he attack back? At Muddy Biscuit, like he did before. <laughs> he loved your passion then in the chat. <clears throat> Look at this, he's all over him. Who's Ooh. gone now? Eva's. Nope. 
lost a bit of ground there. Even Debbie on the track. Pigeon Munch, he's right, he's on the edge here, isn't he? Bang you dead over three second time, Oh, Matty. Ooh. Ooh, oh, oh, hang on. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Pigeon Munch, does he go for it now? Is he going for the move? Oh, my wow. give me a hush right behind him! Boyce is off. Wormish again, he really wants to get past these two horses now. He's really oh, struggling Jesus. off that last corner, isn't he? Um, Unity. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh here we go. If money the money to him him Maddie on. The power of foot line speed flowing through Unity. On the power. Ooh, off again. Look at the slipstream as the sparks are flying. Here comes Pigeon Munch on Money Biscuit for the lead. Good night, Wow. No, no, Muddy Biscuit's nope. got it covered! Muddy Biscuit's got it covered! He was rocky, sent the fastest lap. Uh, he's on the so soft tyres. He's really now here, two seconds behind the hush now. We're not getting the laps. first points. Look how close not... these three are. Mr. Pigeon Munch is not yeah. happy that he's behind Muddy Biscuit. <laughs> So he just is quite a far way back. He'll, he'll start clawing his way back in the more these fight though, even with the DRS that are pulling away from yeah. him, but should be able to come back and at the end of the race. Yeah, but track CW, position CW26 CW is coming right behind Sturridge as well on medium tyres. So we've got track position for the top six, and they are penalty three at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh no, crazy fish! No! Oh, don't reverse. Get going Ooh. now, quick, 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 quick. No. Nope. Oh, what's the brake boards? Oh, car behind. Ooh. Matty. Oh, wow. Here comes Pigeon Munch. Bang it dead. Bang it dead out. Yeah, he thinks better of it. Bang it dead. Oh, oh look at Harsh. Look, he's literally on the gearbox. He's literally humping yep. the gearbox. So that has. <laughs> Next Mercedes. Oh, slight oh, lock no up. All oh, pigeons had a bad exit on that orange curve. Yeah. Here comes Unity Horse. Unity Horse. Renault Power. Oh. <gasps> oh. Is that me? Maybe I don't know. For light speed. speed. On the outside. Here comes oh, Henry White. Don't want to be here on the outside. Make yeah. <laughs> Bang you there with a three second penalty. <laughs> what a move! Squirmish on entry, happy on the rear on exit. Oh, wow. Makes the move. Uh, caught, everyone spectate Cornish, he's humping the wall. Oh, the bang you dead's crashed. Oh, wow. No, he hasn't. Oh, we, oh yeah. What's oh, wow. Oh, I'm fucked up. Right Cornish. to go left. <laughs> spectate Cornish, he's um, uh, humping the pit wall. Yeah, that's interesting. A bit, um, that's an interesting that was a fantastic. That's moving yeah, the race. He's gonna hold Bangy dead up when he's just retired. Yeah, I tell you what, anyone in the top six can still win this race. Well, yeah, absolutely. Points is back on, points is back out, but it's quite far behind now. It's two minutes. Bang. Unity. Is, is Unity going to get a move? He's not gonna get the move here. Unity Hush is gonna well. wait for it. Um, that did happen to Camo last week Ooh, in the pit eyes. He just literally mm. teleported onto the start finish line with a wheel missing. It was brilliant. But Cornish, Cornish got lucky because he was just moving. Whereas he didn't get teleported back. Right, has Muddy Biscuit. Oh, can Muddy Biscuit hold off Hosh here? Because this is going to be not. it. UET is right on his gearbox. We're up to Rouge and Raggy on. Be careful, Ooh, guys. Oh, look how close! <laughs> oh my god! Quantum power! No. Bell power. Go oh, on. And. Connor Todd has binned it a Rouge and Radio on that. That's a safety car. Ooh, Pigeon almost hits the back. Everybody, and that was close. Ooh, right. Ooh. Yeah, Connor Todd binned it a 
If stuff? I was anyone from mm, anyone from lo- four down to ten, I would go. So this is being Cornish Black Yes, soft Cornish will be black. the last four laps. Five laps will be one and a half, two seconds a lap quicker than those mediums and hards. What so do you think I'd about gamble. Cornish guys, is he going to come back? Possibly, yep. Yeah. Gonna bring him right back. Never into say the never. Field. Sorry. Cornish is far back, so that's going to bring him back. That's going to bring him right back. Yeah. So he's currently two laps behind, though, I think, after that skirmish in the pits. This, what is, it says two minutes and 30 on my street. And he's pitting as well. But I can't believe how close Hush was to um, that was insane. muddy up her rouge. Oh. Can you imagine that on the 2018 game? The physics of that game, we would have both gone spinning into a wall, even though they weren't touching. They're both yeah. yeeted. They've been sent to Narnia. Right. They've been thrown like that. Yeah. Like, M- Storage! M- oh, you got a penalty. Oh. Oh. German, German, German. Everyone's going to dive in the pit, I think. Oh, oh. Storage drive through. Unity. Yeah, Storage with a drive through as well. Unity Hush has gone into the pits. Yeah. Muddy stayed out. Everyone has, really. I'm surprised not more Unity. people are going on softs. They are so Unity powerful. Unity Evo's come in, yeah. Right, I'm don't overtake the safety car, Muddy. This. Don't overtake the safety car like Celine. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Oh. Is he? He's stuck behind the Red Bull. Oh. On my screen. That's Cornish, yes. That's oh, Cornish, yes. No. Oh, no. No way. Oh, Cornish again, yeah. Cornish. Can Cornish retire from the Cornish session? I don't know how it works now. Oh no. He'll, he'll still do this if he never retires. Because he comes out the pits, then retires. What? Well, yeah. Car will move. Right, Cornish has done it. Cornish has retired. What right, still the doing hell it. is going on here? Still doing it. So if this I was anyone in the long top while. six now, I'd pit. Not. <laughs> I would. This would be a long time. No, you, they'd just be in this train. <gasps> no! That? No! Look what? at the Williams! Is the Williams gonna jump this? Oh no, it's gonna have to wait. I thought the Williams might no, jump. No, I don't know, maybe. No, he might go through. Look at him! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh. You don't even want it, no? Oh, he's gonna a crazy fish. so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly that. God. Right, they're going now, they're going. What? So it needed what? a driver to jump to get them going. Oh, bad luck for those three. They were able to catch up though. What? Right. Storage? Storage? Oh, uh, eh? Eh? Storage just overtook the safety car. Okay. Uh, what? But Muddy Can you behind. imagine? The safety car should what? the green light. <laughs> no, i tell you what. I think because of that glitch with the car, with the Williams going past, I think that's a lot of storage to go through. For some like reason. Field, so, can yeah, ma- so if he pits, if he pits and goes softs now, yeah, but he's not going to lose that much ground. ground. Yes. So for the leader. Savage is coming in. Is Muddy going to come in? Everyone should. Oh, and let me Cornish. I know. I was going to say you might as well come in the pits for softs. Oh, wow. he's out. What? Out. what? Pigeon. CW, Falcon, and, and Mason. So Sturridge is going to drop what? Six, seven? Seventh, yeah. Maybe eighth. No, eighth is just coming in now. Yes, seventh. What an ending this is going to be. Mm-hmm. Got it. Another two lap sprint. Only one lap, maybe. No, it'll be a two lap sprint. Happened yeah. last night in the F1 race yesterday. Yeah. Uh, lucky, I like you coins, mate. I'm just very unlucky. You getting that glitch? That's weird over there. So oh, out of all this, Muddy's gone up seven positions. CW six, Falcon eight, Mega Centurion thirteen. Wow, Falcon sitting cushy there in P four. But yeah, these well, soft, run, these soft runners are going to put up a ha- hell of a fight. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be Mason Dunk right now. <sighs> Mega Saint June drives day, in my opinion, up 13 places. Right, the 
44 viewers now. Oh my god, Music Rocket is then six stops. Crikey. Jeez right, let's Christ. have a look at penalty situation Ooh. for these drivers. So Sturridge has got a drive through to serve. Yeah, just no just notice that. So hey, I was speeding. That's head out of it. Into P12, but yeah. Can't do it with the safety car. Right, okay, so we've got three seconds. SLR ever has got 12 seconds. How has he managed to get 12 seconds? I do not know, but that is what it is. Uh, Matty, Crazy Catfish, Musical Rocket, and... Mega and now. Mason Dunks all have three second time penalties. I'll see if Stowe's got any now because of his... All in one. He has two, two penalties. Stowe has. So, but I think he's, oh, he's got six seconds on me. So this is going to be a two lap showdown. Yeah. So there's going to be no holding back. People are going to be sending it, lick the stamp and send it Element Snow style. Yep. Yep. But, but the people on mediums, they, they're just going to get swamped. Oh, you say that, they hold out for the first part of the mm, lap. They've got a chance to block each other. And the DRS as well. Yeah. I no. think with just the extra grip. They'll have no DRS, yeah. will they? It's just going to be the softs no. are going to be... It's just going to be front line speed. Oh, yes. Maybe Honda Power, maybe we'll win. Just make sure you go now to join the pack. If you join it. Maybe between sector two. Forty-eight Shake viewers now. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Very nice, very nice for the Monday night racing. That's very good to see. Very good to see. Thank you very much, fans, followers. Please give us a follow on Twitch. Maybe you want to subscribe. Please feel free to. All greatly appreciated. And if you want to join our F1, yeah. contact our F1 Shane Blue for a seven Xbox tag. He's our head of recruitment, and he will show you the ropes and how to join. Okay, right, so safety car should be in this lap. Oh, he goes spinned it! What? Under a safety car? How's he done that? He was pushing too much, so I think we're trying to get it in the way. Oh, and he's oh just, what? I need just. Um, did anyone clip that? Yeah, I'll do that now. That's a bit silly. Did not okay. did. I think, I think he did that purposely. Mm, well, no comments. You guys aren't great. No comments. <laughs> no comment, yeah, exactly. We're impartial. <laughs> okay, yeah. we're about as impartial as um, an opinionated <laughs> person. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Yes. Yeah, right. Safety car Safety in guy. this lap. We are in for a two lap showdown. Muddy Biscuit has now got to set the pace. Is he? We're gonna, well, he's going to want to hope he catches Pigeon Munch napping because well all the medium runners are gonna have to be on it on the point and hope that the soft runners of mega the front runner of the front of the soft runners mega centurion is napping and catch catch them all off guard because the first few corners of this re of this restart these soft runners are gonna have a huge huge yep. advantage <laughs> it is going to be building 1.2 to 2 seconds faster in these Ooh. two laps Pigeon is very on the back of Muddy when he's yeah, moving. Yeah, he knows. He, he knows. knows. He won't go. Yeah. Muddy's, Muddy's going to do it now. Go. now. Muddy now. Go, go, Full go. Bolt it, bolt it, bolt it. Whoa, he's managed to get Muddy. him a little bit napping, but yeah. then Mr. Pigeon Munch is very close to quickly responding. But hang on. Here we go, guys. He's Mr. Centurion down the inside. Yep. Move. Oh! Oh! Ooh, he take him his teammate. He take him his teammate. Wow. Side by side, oh, no. 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 Nice. The Falcon the gets a little bit in there. Oh my god, we're going to get out of four wide. Oh, Unity Hush. Unity Hush. Oh my god, they are free wide. What a move. Oh. Around the outside as well. On the outside of <laughs> music. Oh my god, what a double move. Hang on, the Alpha Man. Ooh, that Alpha. Falcons dropping back. Savage. Oh, what a move from the Alpha Man. He just quickly slipped on the inside, side by side to the corner oh, of no name. Contact! Contact! Ooh, I'm, 
Al Williams. Oh, Williams. Back to Tour of the Williams. Crazy fish. What a spinning Oh my way. god, that's physical rocket there. Oh. Do we need the safety car? Go now. Well, it is a cracking ending, but we've got Mega Centurion on the back of the CW90, CW26. Oh, but then Pigeon Man just going to look like he's... Pigeon Man just being out looking, having a look at now. He's using his ERS. He's he wants to get past stop. that Alpha Tauri. Up the yep, bus stop, Chicane. Yes, so. no. Here comes no Sturridge. DRS what a move. All the contact with Falcon. I think Mega Centurion does have a penalty to his name. Right, last left showdown. Here comes Pigeon Munch. He needs to use all his ERS left. Each other with the ERS level yep. left. The top two going up over Rouge. Here comes Mega Centurion. Here comes Mega Centurion. 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 DW. Oh my god, the McLaren's gone round! Oh, Mega Centurion out. No, oh, no! Oh, my, oh god. my god. No! Oh my god. I think slightly squeezed Falcon there. Oh. Massive contact. Massive contact. Yeah. That is a massive ending. Such a shame. Unity. You know, eight in the oh! Race. You were, oh, oh no. me some. He's hit the wall on the right. Yep. The top two has still got just under 50% ERS. Pigeon gets a great exit on Money Biscuit. It's a run to the finish line. Yep. Is he going to send it up the inside to take the win? Look at the slipstream. Give it yep. Off, Tex, here comes the hat on the Alcatari. Is he going to get Is he going to go for it? Is he gonna make the move? Oh, He's got right. Fred. He makes the move! This is the pitch you match! Stretch him out, stretch him out! Oh, no. They're both running! Money Biscuit takes the line! Money Biscuit takes the win! Pigeon Munch in second! CW26 will take third! Oh my god, what a move from the end! Wow. Taylor's weapon as well, they did at the end. Storage takes four, Falcon takes four, Unity fifth with no front wing. And Squeezy an Fitch finish it with no wing as well. Whew! <laughs> what a top two tango at the end that was. Whew! I'm brief. <laughs> yes! We need, we need a long couple of racks. Oh and my right god. I'll tell you what. Those two at the end. <laughs> I should get yeah, a camera. Exactly. Had it. Wow, indeed. Oh, battle of the traction. Oh, but at the God. end, oof, when everyone mental. Have a sip of coke, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. What an ending to the F2 Belgian Grand Prix. Could someone please do the honours and bring in our podium? It has been. Okay. I'll bring them in now. Look at that! Point zero nine zero. I wasn't even loaded yet. That is impressive. Alexa, tell Xbox to take a screenshot. <laughs> I am speechless after that. I'm knackered. Um. <laughs> Oh dear. And they have been invited. Alexa, tell Xbox to take a screenshot. Do it. I hope you guys enjoyed that latter half of the race. Oh. I'll do it. I'll just kiss. This is why I love Cobbins and F2, says Chris LFC. Well, Chris, I hope I've looked after it well enough for you. Um, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's been very, very interesting, to say the <laughs> least. Whew. They're all in. Are they all in? Yep. 
Okay, guys, just remember you are live straight away. You do not need to activate any include your audio as it's done from the PC. So just mind what you're saying until we're offline, please, guys. <sighs> I can hear someone typing away on a laptop. Definitely not me. <laughs> I think that's money biscuit. <laughs> no, it's no. No, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's typing in the Twitch stream. Right, okay. Ben, do you want to take P3? Tribal will take P2 and I'll take P1. Come. Who was P2? <laughs> Who was P2? It was the pigeon man. Have you been watching? Yes. You've been with the pigeon man. Have been that eventful. Right. CW um, had a decent qualifying. Obviously, a lot of mayhem and controversy in that race, especially towards the last five, six laps. But it's the Red Bull, isn't he? out. Well, it says CW in a Williams. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Come on, AJ, wake up. <laughs> so, uh, out of all that, I'm sure you're happy to walk away with the podium there. Aye, quite happy, aye. <laughs> Wasn't there much to it, I suppose. Check me well, bad qualifying and then lucky days. There you go. Right, well, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah, that. Tell us your thoughts of like the last lap. Um, were you? Uh, did you see? Uh, witness any of the last lap uh, um, after um, at Le Com? No, not gonna lie. I wasn't paying attention. I was just uh, I don't know who overtook me, but it spun right in front of my shot myself. So. <laughs> And then after that, <laughs> I was in I was in two warmings for the whole race. I was sitting there taking it slow and steady, just to make sure I got a cross line with any penalties. So I right. there we go, P3. So definitely a lot of poo came out then. <laughs> oh, I went for a mad race, piss. I was pissed myself. I think um, he'll need to, he needs to change his pants after this interview. Absolutely, absolutely. Any more questions, Ben? No, just bring the entertainment for next week for these guys. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. Right, over to One Tribal to speak to our yes. second place finisher. Mr. Pigeon Munch. Hello. Uh, well, what do you think of the race? Uh, I don't know, slightly <laughs> eventful. <laughs> Very um, eventful. Belgium's a funny one, because with the long track you only have like 22 laps and then you spend half of it behind the safety car. Yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, God knows what happened um, in the pits we hush and just a few <laughs> a few uh, problems here and there I think with the game, but the, the battle was fun with Muddy at the end. Um, yeah, I knew down to the be, wire. Yeah, I knew it was going to be odd because there was going to be no DRS and uh, Muddy was looking fast on the on the straight, so I knew I had to come somewhere, and uh, I tried, I tried so hard with the last corner, but my traction out of the out of the last corner was, um, well, non-existent and uh, super close. But you know, I'm not, I'm not just you know going to push him off the track. I left, I think, what was fair space, and uh, yeah. it took advantage of it. And uh, GG to Muddy, it was uh, good fun at the end. How do you feel going to the next track, which is Japan, I believe? Ah, uh, uh, I, I think Japan was one of the first tracks I did, uh, and it was so bad. I, uh, if I'm as bad as what it was when I first went on, then it's not looking good. <laughs> but we'll right. see. Have you guys got any questions for him? No, just congratulations on P2, and thank yeah. you for giving us that photo finish. <laughs> Point zero nine zero in it across the line. <laughs> close, I think that's the closest vi closest finish we've had in RSF1 history. Congratulations, wow. Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, I feel great now. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, well, well. I think we need a long rest. The man yeah. of the moment who managed to steal the win when it counted, Muddy Biscuit. <laughs> that was a race and a half, wouldn't you say? Well, I found it pretty dull. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I think I was lucky to avoid a lot of the mayhem. I think the first stint, 
it wasn't very much a DRS train. I think I got a couple. I think I got somebody off the line. Had a great battle with Caesar through sort of the end of the start, end of the first sector, start of the second sector, and then yeah, then got or oh, I don't know whether I call myself unlucky or lucky with a safety car. I don't know why it seems to have parked itself off the track at about literally probably in neutral almost. I I got the warning saying you've passed the safety car, let it back pass, and the countdown was I think maybe only three seconds, which I think is why. Izzy and C's have both got disqualified so quickly, so I'd have to go back, look at my camera, and actually see how close I myself was getting to disqualified. And obviously, because I had to slam on the brakes, I think it was, I think, I think, yeah, I think it was you, Pigeon, who jumped me as I was ghosting. And then I think we had a good battle, at, and then yeah, something happened in the second safety car as well. I think Sturridge had a drive through, and he seemed to be able to jump everyone, and then the safety car decided to let us all do a lap. For free, and I was actually pushing that lap, thinking if the safety car comes in that lap, I could have maybe a two-second lead if if I get lucky. But obviously, it, it bunches back up again, and I just kept it clean, saving all my ARS down for the main straight. Luckily, Pigeon didn't get the great run on the last lap, so I could save a bit more down for the final straight. He obviously, I defended the inside line as much as I could. He obviously took the outside, and I think I just got enough traction on the curb. Which I don't feel it's very clean racing, very fair, and plenty of space, but just about in the end, I'd, I'd thought I'd lost it, but less than a tenth, that's definitely the closest win I've ever had in any sort of racing. <laughs> well, it definitely cements your um, <laughs> challenge for the title this season. Obviously, so close to it last season, didn't quite pay out. I assume that you're going to try and go for it again this season, now that with the, with the, with the momentum that you started the first two races with? Yeah, but I don't feel as confident on this game. I think that's definitely a lot of quick guys, especially the likes of Vettel or Pigeon, Hush, who've all come down from F1. Actually, even a lot of drivers like Cornish, Rocket, Mason, Spooky, who've all come up from what well, of the low division. So I think, in reality, it's probably maybe 10, 15 drivers who could challenge for podium this week or week, and maybe even six or seven who could challenge for the title. Yeah, it does look like we are in for a great season across all the tiers at the moment with the first couple of races being underway. Very close racing from all what we've seen so far. F1, F2, without a doubt, it's been so close this last two races. Moving on to Japan next week, Maddie. Uh, Favourite or hatred? Uh, never really had great luck around there. I don't mind it, but it's it's not really... It's not really my worst, not really my best sort of in the middle. Okay, fair enough. So it's a track you like, it's neither here or there for you. Hello? <laughs> Alright, okay, so it's a track that's not neither here or there for you then. No, no, yeah, it's it's, it's one of those. I think it's very much about... It's, I think it's going to be like Spa, avoiding the curbs, especially yeah. in the first sector, and best the gravel. Yeah, is... yeah, very lo very little runoff. Mm. Mm, absolutely. Well, there's only going to be one way to find out, and that is to tune in to next week for Division 2. It will be Blazer and Chris back next week. As I said, I've only filled in for them this week. I'm back on stream next Sunday for Division 1, and Ben F1 Racer will be taking, well, maybe, if he decides to turn up for this week, uh, for next week's race at Japan, he may take a car here or there. Tomorrow night, it is the turn of Division 5, and I'm just now going to have a quick look at who the schedule is going to be for you just to give you a heads up of who is it going to be it's Musical Rocket and RSF on Lincoln uh, in the box with you for round 2 Division 5. Now will they have a wet session or will it be like F2? Dry We've had one of each so far so which one's going to win out of the weather conditions we do not know I will see you guys also on the track on Wednesday it is my turn in the horrible Mercedes um around Spa as well so please do, do tune in to that one but until tomorrow guys and until next week from me and the rest of the F2 team it's good night from our SF1 good night from our podium drivers, podium drivers who have provided a cracking result for us thanks to everyone that's tuned in to the stream Arvidici or whatever you say it good night <laughs>